Hello everyone and welcome to my guide to understanding the puzzles of the Remastered Mist. In this video I will be unlocking the secrets of the Age of Channelwood. The linking book to Channelwood can be found at the bottom of the large tree behind the cabin on Mist Island. Check out this video if you have yet to unlock this book's location. Opening the book and placing your hand onto the panel will link you to the Age. You will link onto a network of wooden boardwalks which crisscross a treed swamp. In the trees above you are a number of wooden huts connected by rope bridges. You need to figure out how to get up there. You can learn more about the history of this age by reading the Channelwood book in the library, though that is not necessary to solve any of the puzzles. Note the system of pipes running along boardwalks. At the pipe junctions are large levers operating what appears to be some kind of valve. Also notice what appears to be an elevator that will take you to the higher level, but it is not functioning at the moment. Behind that elevator there is a walkway spiraling up a tree to what appears to be another elevator. Unfortunately access to this walkway is blocked. Some walkways are dead ends. At the end of one of these dead ends is another non-functioning mechanism. There are also additional boardwalks at this level that we don't yet have access to. One of the walkways ends at a prominent windmill, at the base of which is a small hut. Inside the hut we can see that the windmill is pumping water into a large holding tank. Opening the valve on the tank results in the sound of running water, the sound of which continues as we follow the hose and connecting pipe back down to the boardwalks. The valves at the junctions direct the water down specific pipes. You can tell which pipes have water flowing in them by the sound. There are a couple of ways of proceeding, including accessing the Mist linking book directly, but recall that the brothers Cirrus and Akinar are trapped in the red and blue books in the library on Mist Island, and they have tasked you with finding the missing red and blue pages. These are located in the upper levels, so I will make getting there our first task. Using the valves, we can direct the water where we want. Directing the water to the spiral walkway does not allow access, so I will begin by directing the water to the elevator we noted earlier. Remember to listen to the sound of running water to ensure the water pressure is going where you want. With the water directed to the elevator you will find that it is now working. The elevator takes you to the huts and bridges of the second level. The huts are clearly in a state of disuse and contain nothing of value. There are only two locations of interest on this level. Continuing along the network of bridges you will soon find yourself at the second elevator at the top of the spiral walkway we saw earlier from water level. To make the elevator operational we need to direct the water pressure here, but to do that we must descend the spiral walkway which is still blocked. Connected to this barrier is a cable running through a pulley. The cable leads to another hut. Make your way to this hut and you will find a switch that opens the door allowing you access to the spiral walkway. It is entirely possible you may have found this switch before finding the second elevator, in which case you may have already opened this barrier. At the bottom of the walkway another switch opens the door that was barring your access from below. Using the valves direct the water pressure towards the second elevator, again using the sound of running water to ensure you have it right. With the pressure now supplied, the second elevator will now take you to the third level. Here you can proceed left or right. The left bridge leads to the quarters of Cirrus, while the right leads to Akinar's chambers. As with other ages, exploring these locations gives you insight into the brothers' personalities. Remember at some point you have to decide who to trust. There are however a couple of other things of note. Tucked away in one of the bedrooms is one half of a torn page. We need the other half to understand the instructions, but that is a problem for a different age. For now, just take a picture for later. Also, before getting to Akinar's bedroom, you will be forced through a small room where you will be greeted to this lovely message. The message being projected over a rather nasty device. The doorway at the back of this greeting room leads to Akinar's bedroom where you will find the device that operates the projector. The first three buttons all play similar messages, but the fourth message is by Cirrus and he says something rather interesting. He is preparing 
Remember, take only one page. With the brothers' rooms explored, there's nothing left but to find the linking book back to Mist Island. Take the elevator back down to the second level, and then take the spiral walkway down to water level. We now need to direct the water down the boardwalks towards the left, that end at the device we noted earlier in the video. Now supplied with pressure, this switch raises a walkway. This walkway leads to a third elevator, which we now need to provide pressure to. Following the pipe that leads to this elevator gets you to a crank, which extends the pipe over a gap connecting it to the other side. Go back over the walkway that we raised, and find the pipe we just extended. Once again, use the valves to direct the water to this pipe. Continuing to listen for the sound of running water to ensure we have things flowing the right way. With water now flowing down this pipe, return to the third elevator, which you should find is now working. This elevator takes you straight to the linking book. Placing your hand on the panel returns you to the library on Mist Island. In the library, any page that you found will be placed on the shelf as you approach either the red or blue books. You can leave the page on the shelf, but it is also perfectly safe to add the page to the matching book. With each page, Cirrus and Akinar will be able to speak more clearly. Both will claim to be wrongly imprisoned, plead for more pages, while at the same time discrediting their brother. Deciding who to trust will be a decision we will eventually have to make.